onion rings and a large orange drink. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. Welcome back. Today we're going to be shooting five different slugs from five different places in the world at our panel of ballistic glass. A lot of people call it bulletproof glass and that's okay with me. A couple months ago we shot pretty much every pistol caliber we could throw at it from 22 up to 10 millimeter and this panel of ballistic glass stopped everything it was rated for which by the way is up to 44 magnum then we fired a 223 at it and this glass managed to stop that too however when we threw some 308 at it it went right through it that's because this is UL rated level 3 and it's not designed to stop 308 as you can see by the chart here now the ratings can be a little confusing because you have both UL ratings and an NIJ which is the National Institute of Justice rating so this will stop a 44 Magnum but what about a shotgun slug and that's what we're gonna find out today because we have no idea now if you're curious this piece of glass weighs 38 pounds and if you went out and bought it it would cost you about eighteen hundred dollars so let's take a look at the slugs we'll be shooting at it Representing Italy, we have the DGS-12 slug. DGS stands for Dangerous Game Slug. These things will take down anything from a bear to a boar to a bad guy. This is a hard-hitting, heavy slug that has deep penetration thanks to its special lead alloys. Representing USSR is the Poliva bullet. This slug is about 30 years old and features discarding sabos and the attached plastic wadding to help stabilize it in flight. In our previous test with these slugs they proved to be very accurate and had very good penetrating power and we really enjoyed shooting them. Representing the country of Latvia is this deep duplex monolith 28. This is a solid steel slug with kind of an hourglass shape with an attached plastic wadding on the back. These are very popular in heavy brushed areas for hunting boar. Representing the modern country of the Russian Federation is a slug I bet you've never seen before or heard about, the Leningradka 2. This uses a discarding sabo and is a lead-free slug made out of solid steel. In the near future we'll be doing a full video just on these slugs, so stay tuned for that. And last but not least, representing the country of USA, is the PowerShock Rifled Foster Slug. Now you can literally go down to Walmart and buy these things so it doesn't get any more American than that. Now these are designed for expansion so the lead used for the slug is pretty soft. Alright, I'm shooting a Remington 870 by Scattergun Technologies. We're going to be firing first the DGS-12. The Italians really know their stuff as far as shotgun slugs go. This thing is very easy to load. You just put your powder in, put the, put the slug in, crimp it, and you're good to go. And this is available in the United States at Ballistic Products. This really wasn't a hot load. It was just kind of like a mild load, in fact. And you could really crank these things up to get some high velocities and get some long kills with these things. They're great for boar. So I don't think the, the, the slug definitely went through. We gotta be really careful because that's some very sharp shards. This is a cool angle here too. You can see the bend. So this thing absolutely wrecked this piece of glass. So, uh, yeah, we got some cracks going on now. And whether or not that compromises the rest of the glass, eh, it may, but we'll just keep on shooting. All right, this is Poliva. That's that's the, that's the best I could pronounce it. Poliva, Poliva. It's a 30-year-old slug, man. That's that's old stuff. Now this shot can almost be called a failure because the lead nose of it came off the wadding, and despite that, it still stayed on target. It probably could have done more damage if it would have stayed together, though. Didn't know this happened until I reviewed the footage, though. Ready. 
really surprising was the amount of energy just that glass blowing out the back had. I mean, it cracked the little lens uh, on my little camera on top of his head there. And you could see how much his head moved just from the impact of that glass. And you can imagine all the glass fragments in your face from that. So for something that was technically a failure in flight, it still managed to squeak through the glass and did a lot of damage. And my little cheapo camera got the lens cracked from a piece of glass. But the, the glass did do a lot of damage to the slug too, as you can see here. Monolith, which I think means freight train in Latvian. I don't know. Or see. monolith, like a, it's a big old like a solid steel. It's gonna hit it like a rock. Yeah, I bet that'll go through it. Oh, you see those splash of water back there? There are a couple places in the United States where you can buy this slug. It's a steel slug, so it's non-lead. So if you live in a place where you need non-lead ammo, this may be an option for you. And once again, Doug got a jet of high-speed glass fragments in his face. You can see his face contorting a little bit there. And it, it actually knocked out the rest of the uh, plastic on the front of that camera. Uh, yeah, it's, the, the plastic wadding stayed behind, but that steel kept on going. Doug got a face full more of glass. And then our little micro camera here just completely knocked out the, the glass out of that. But it's still, it's still recording. That's camera hat. Look at this outside here. Just open it. Yeah. That is some amazing energy. It's definitely not slug rated, we're finding out. Leningradka too, comrade. Flat faced piece of steel. Yep, Sabo. Same, pretty much loaded the same as the first two rounds. Okay, anytime. Wow, very little recoil on that. Now we had technical difficulties on this. In other words, I loaded it wrong and we didn't get full velocity, it wasn't stable, and that was a failure on my part. Even though we had very shallow penetration this time, it still knocked a lot of glass out the back. I wouldn't want to be that dude standing there. Yeah, it wasn't flying straight. I might not have loaded it right. High and right, I guess. So far, it's the only one that hasn't made it through. It was very close, though. Good old American Foster Rifled Deer Slug. Available at your local Walmart. Exactly. America. Or wherever America is sold. Yep. Wow. Oh, boy. Now, up to this point, we're shooting at the corners of the glass, and we're trying to keep the glass as intact as possible. Whether or not those cracks in the glass really compromise it that much, I'm not really sure. But again, it's $1,800 worth of glass. We can't just put another piece of glass there on every shot. Can't We don't have that kind of budget. I think he would have lost that eye with that piece of glass in there. Doug's down. I do chest compressions and rescue breathing, but I get glass in my mouth. Yeah. Some of these shards, though, look at that, tore his safety vest. It wasn't very safe. He's the range officer, Doug. I don't, it, it had to hit him in the, in the vest somewhere to knock him off because we have him strapped on there. Yeah, he, well, that hole's old. Yeah. He, it's just un velcro that thing. Maybe there? Is That's the old one. That one there? I don't know. It hit, it hit solid enough to knock him off the stand. Yeah. Maybe this? Could it have glanced off his shoulder? This, or that shirt? That of the glass? could be. It could be. Something, something heavy went through here. Either big pieces of glass or pieces of slug. So we definitely answered the question, will UL level 3 glass stop a deer slug? Absolutely not. Now a 44 Magnum bullet travels about the same velocity as you've seen these slugs fly today. Now a 12 gauge slug weighs a lot more than a 44 bullet but it has a much larger profile, so we thought there was a chance this glass would be able to stop it. But boy, were we wrong. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.